When designing the living room for the Ferguson family, I created the open concept that they asked for and made distinctive cosmetic updates to the room so it matched their style and their needs. So originally in the space, there were really thin columns and then just some white railing. And I really wanted to beef the columns up, make them more substantial, a little more formal. So we removed the railing altogether to really open up the space and then trimmed out the existing columns. This originally was a set of French doors that led out to the sunroom. Now we've created this double-sided fireplace, put some really pretty quartzite here, and then did a really pretty trim around it to make it have a clean but pretty elegant look. Over here with the stairs, you know, they had the dated railing, so we removed the existing railing. We just came back with a really clean, simple railing, but I just think the blend of the white, the natural, really pretty wood mixed with the gray trim, you know, it ties in now to the updates of the house. The Zan family home needed a total renovation, but one thing we did not need to fix was the beautiful view. The scenery outside of this home inspired my design throughout the home, especially the main living space. One of the things I love about this room is just how wide open it is and how simple the colors are. There's contrast, but it's really clean because really when you look out every window, there's just a beautiful view and I didn't want what was going on in here competing with what you see outside the window. So as you can see, we trimmed out all the windows and the doors with a really 
Over here in the living room, I just really love how it's kind of the anchor of this room. It's really symmetrical, it's clean, it's classic. Again, it focuses on what's beyond these walls, which is the view in the backyard. Come check out the dining room. You know, I was really strategic about where I placed the dining room in this new layout. It's front and center, it's under this really cool chandelier, and then the backdrop is this amazing open kitchen. But what I love about this table is my client said this is where she would eat when she was a little kid at her granddad's table, and so the fact that we got to restore it, put it back in this house, I think it was really meaningful to our clients. I really enjoyed working on the Ridley project. It was a chance to transform three rooms into one living space. He really wanted a wide open space to entertain in for friends and family. We ended up eliminating all the walls in this main living space to create a really nice wide open space for him. You know, this used to be the formal living room and now I love that all the walls are gone, it's open up, and this is now his dining area. What's really great about this is he's got these really pretty, nice new windows that look off to the front porch and the front yard. So I think this is just a great setting to entertain family and friends. One of the main things you need to keep in mind when you're designing a wide open space like this is to make sure that the design in each space is consistent with each other since it's all in one room. What I really love about this space in here is that even though now we're in the living room, you've got the concrete hearth that ties in with the countertops, you've got the reclaimed wood that ties in really well with the island and the recessed ceiling. I had to keep in mind what was happening with the kitchen, the dining room, and the entry so that it all felt consistent and there was a really nice flow.
One of my favorite things to do is set a table. With a centerpiece like this, I think the simplicity of it goes a long way. I've got about nine vases on the table. Each vase was five to seven dollars a piece. I already owned these, and this is something I just always keep. You know, as the seasons change, you can change what you put in them. In this case, we went outside, we cut some greenery from the lawn. Literally one single leaf that goes in. I think it's the pop of green that really makes a statement here, but my point is, is you don't have to be a florist to create something like this. You know, and as the seasons change, you can still use that same idea of going out in the front yard. You can even get clippings, for instance, for Christmas, you can get Christmas tree clippings. You can get clippings from your tree, your bushes. No matter what, you can always change this out. Just keeping it simple, but also just celebrating the current season that you're in. This is a really great example of how you don't have to spend a ton of money, but how something as simple as this can make a huge statement for your dinner party.